Hello, my name is Kelly Antone, Siemens HMI and SCADA specialist with PCC. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to work with tags in your comfort panel project. So, the first thing I would like to do is have my HMI expanded out, which I do, so the TP700 comfort panel is expanded out. There's two main areas that we need to focus on. One is the HMI tags area, and the other is connections. So from the previous lesson, we actually created a connection to an S7-1500 PLC. So if I double-click on connections and open that up, you can actually see there is a, you know, a name of a connection, and this is the driver that's being used, and it's communicating to an S7-1500 PLC. Should you want to work with another type of PLC, you can just click in the area here, add in a new connection, give it whatever name that you would like, and then select from an available list of drivers, and you can even pick drivers like Allen Bradley Ethernet IP as an example if you'd want to have you know, connectivity to an Allen Bradley PLC. So I'm going to delete this connection, all right? So I'm going to just stick with that 71500 PLC connection, but you can see you can add in multiple uh, connections to different PLCs in the same application. So the next thing is going to be under the uh, HMI tags area. If I expand out HMI tags, you'll see that there's a show all tags view. This will show me all tags across all tag tables. You'll see that there's one tag table that's created that's called a default tag table. All tags are going to be stored in the default tag table unless you create an additional tag table and put tags into a different tag table. So for example, I could say add new tag add new tag table, so I double clicked it, it dropped in this tag table. And what I'll do is I'll rename it, and I will just call this one my demo tags. Okay, so now I have another spot where I can store actual tags. I'm going to open up the default tag table. Okay, so in the previous lesson, I showed you that you know, by doing the drag and drop, we can create a connection you know, between the PLC and the HMI. So there's one PLC tag in here, and it's tied to the specific PLC connection. So I'm just going to look at a few of the properties you know, that are related to this HMI tag. When I look down in the properties area, okay, one area is there's a settings. So there's an acquisition mode. In this acquisition mode, you actually have a couple choices that you can select from. One is going to be cyclic continuous, and one is going to be cyclic in operation. Cyclic in operation is the default, and which is the one or the mode that should be used the most frequently. What this means is the tag is only going to be updated when um, it is used on a particular screen. So when you're on a screen that has the tag, it's going to be updated. If you go to a screen that doesn't have the tag, then that tag is not going to be updated so you can save some resources. Cyclic continuous means no matter what screen you're on, that tag will always be updated. So if you put a lot of tags in cyclic continuous, it's going to create a higher load on the HMI. So we'll leave this as cyclic in operation. Then you have the acquisition cycle. There are predefined acquisition rates, so the default is one second, but you can go as fast as 100 milliseconds. Or you can even add in your own custom cycles if you want, you know, but generally the, the defaults will work fine. So the next thing is you've got a range you know, for the actual tag, so you can set in upper and lower limit ranges. You can also do you know, linear scaling if this happened to be like an analog tag. Um, you can have the PLC value get scaled to certain units in the HMI. Now I'm going to move over to this demo tags tag table, so I'm going to open this up. There are no tags that are created in this tag table as of yet, so I'll click on add new. And I'll create my first tag here, and it's going to be called bit underscore one. Now, the data type here, okay, you can use IntelliSense and start typing the data, or the first letter of the data type that you're looking for. So I typed a B, so I'm going to select a bool tag. Uh, for the purpose of demonstration here, I'm going to use an internal tag, but if I wanted to actually pick an actual PLC connection, I could do that, and then the tag would be tied to an actual PLC. Now, if I click on Add New, it'll automatically create another tag, and it incremented, you know, the value. I can also enter in, you know, manual tags, or like a word tag. Now, in this case, I would, um, I've got word one, it's still a Boolean, all right? If I click word two, it's still a Boolean, all right? But I probably want, you know, maybe like an integer data type. So if I type the letter I here, I can bring up int. And then I can take advantage of the Excel-like autofill features, okay? 
drop down. And now I can select override tag attributes. And if I do, I can quickly autofill the individual tags. So now in my application in the default or I should say in the demo tags table, I have four tags, bit one, bit two, word one, and word two of different data types. So this was a quick introduction to working with tags.